All right, plenty of sunshine out there as we're heading into the afternoon hours. 51, partly cloudy at the airport. It's nice to see that sun, but it is a little misleading because our temperatures have been relatively cold this morning. And as we're heading into the afternoon, they stay that way. 51. Calm conditions with our winds. The barometer 29, 97 hundredths of an inch. So it continues to go up all morning long. The dew point also coming in 35 degrees at this point. So we are cold. We have a fairly dry air mass that is in place at this point. What about temperatures? Butler 52, Catania 51, Denora 52, Latrobe 50 degrees, Indiana at 50, and Washington coming in at 51. Still just below 50, 49 in Beaver Falls is what we're looking at at this point. Overall, we're expecting a high of about 63 today. We do expect that at around 5 o'clock, so it's going to take us a while before we get there. Dry with some sun. Those winds generally out of the west. They started off fairly strong this morning, but we think they'll be out of the west at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. They're calm right now, though. Here's your afternoon forecast. 1 o'clock temperature 55, 59 at 3. And then there's that 62 degree mark at 5 o'clock. Right around there, we'll hit that 63 degree mark. And overall, we'll be dry today. Now, rain chances are back both Friday and Saturday. Small chance for rain on Friday. Better chance for that uh, on Saturday. And even on Friday, it's going to be some areas that we'll be watching that are mainly east of Allegheny County that will have the best chance for some rain. So we'll zoom out, show you this area right here. Yeah, we've been talking about it all day long. Dry today, but those rain chances start to go up. First round of rain comes from this area of low pressure. And then we get a secondary round of rain over the Saturday, and that'll come in from the north and that will help to cool us down or at least keep us cool as we're heading into the weekend. So here's that rain. Notice the cutoff there really along and south of I-70 best chance and then into Westmoreland County and off to the east. And I will tell you that this particular model is a little bit more west than most data that's coming out there. In fact, I'd really say probably expect to be dry through about five o'clock on five on Friday. If you're in um, most of Westmoreland County, just the eastern edge is where we're looking at and then anything off to the west of that. That that moisture moves off. It's replaced with another area of moisture, low pressure coming in from the north. This will help to cool us off. I do think we'll see a lot of dry conditions first thing in the morning on Saturday, a couple of spotty showers, and then we start to see things kind of filling in as we're heading into the afternoon hours. And look at this. I knew it was going to be close. This at least particular model tries to show a little bit of snow sneaking into the area, mainly elevated areas, and that could be as soon as Sunday morning. We'll watch closely for that at this point, though. Doubt we're going to see anything there. So cold air is going to be in place on Sunday morning. We just mentioned just how cold, possibly even a couple of light snow showers out there. We warm up right in the middle of the week and then look at what happens by the end of the week and next weekend. Another blast of cold air comes in. So another brief round of warm air and then another cool down. That's just off of the seven day. There's your seven day outlook, including the mild, cool weather all the way through Sunday and the nice warm up as we're heading into next week, including what we could see with the 80s possible Tuesday and Wednesday. Now we're talking. <laughs>